challenges I had is these, uh, that's why I created these, is because when a ball came in, it would sometimes be bumped out. So now with these, when it drives forward, it allows it in, but then when it comes back, it keeps it in, so it doesn't allow the ball out. But then for a bottle, there's a light sensor in there. And what that does is it measures the light, um, what the light reading is when it's here, what the light reading is when it's there. And then from comparing those two, it can see that this means the bottle is there, this means the bottle is not there. So when it is there, then it will go and it will reverse, turn at an angle to make sure that if it hit the bottle there, it would still get it, drop this down, and then proceed to drive it off the edge. I built my first prototype almost entirely out of Lego, except for the ball picking up mechanism. And then for the rest of it, I then went and I 3D printed it. And from there, that's when that robot came along. And then I did two prototypes. The first one was like a semi-built type version, but I was still trying to decide what to do and things. And then the next one was more of a like properly built and that was my final version. This is absolute nullbuit sake. When the first round, what they do is 30 minutes before the round begin, for another one of the vereistes. And that's why they have 30 minutes to the last programming for another one to bring and to toets. And look, it's so long a span. And that was by a man, so he had no one who was in the house stand and who helped him. He had to do the same programming for another one to bring. Vinnig probeer toets en ek bedoel dan is het die competitie. Ja, dat was quite hard. But uh, the thing that did help is I made a couple of friends there. So one of the other teams who I made friends with, they were three in a team. So they would have two people standing in the lines and one person doing the programming changes. So then as soon as they programmed the change, they were already in the front of the line to test. So then whenever one of them was testing, and I just ask if I can pop in next to the other. <laughs> I've always just been curious about things and what how things work and how what happens and so like I've always been asking my parents a lot of questions and saying I don't know and from there that's where I got my enjoyment for it.